fairly nice day here at the Mud at the Glen at Watkins Glen, New York. Race number 20 of the 31 race NASCAR Winston Cup season. Well, Darrell Waltrip is up front, but he shouldn't be there too much longer because he does need a pit stop. And right now, 20 cars in the lead lap. Probably just two or three hasn't pitted, so probably see Michael Walter, Ted Musgrave back in 19th and 20th. They haven't pitted. Lake Speed comes in in car number 15. He was in fourth position, but relinquishes it for a much-needed pit stop. Bob, I don't think we uh, mentioned the fact that Lake had gotten back in the lead lap. You know, he, he had gotten lapped early in the race, but when the other round of green flag pit stops happened, and then the caution came out, and he didn't have to stop until the caution came out, but that put him back in the lead lap. All righty. By the way, Darrell Waltrip, the last time he led, was 13 races ago at Martinsville. He likes his lead, and he's not going to pit for a while. Yes, sir, he sure does. Of course, the disadvantage would be if a caution should come out now, he would be caught like Ricky Rudd was during the last caution that he'd have to stop and go to the tail end of the line because all of these that have stopped. I believe Jerry Punch and John Kernan said that they should be able to go the rest of the way. By the way, we thought maybe a caution was going to come out during our break when Ward Burton spun down in turn number one, but he got the car going again and uh, did not cause a caution. Looks like right now that Darrell and Morgan Shepard, the only two cars who haven't made a pit stop other than my friend Ted Musgrave. Wally Dallenbeck has just gotten around the other cars. They first put on underneath him under brake, and they are now switched to position. That moves Wally up to sixth and Dale back to seventh. Right now it's Waltrip, Martin, Irvin, Shepard, Wallace, Dallenbach, and Earnhardt. Once again, our Ray Bestus camera high in the sky on the helicopter. Now we're looking at uh, Wally as he's moved inside of Dale Earnhardt as they approach turn one for the break zone. We've seen a lot of passing here. Another good clean pass. Wally's got the position. Something off the three car on the front. Looks like maybe some tape or something hanging off that right front corner. I noticed that when he came in for his pit stop last time. I thought maybe the seat belt had fallen out of the passenger side <laughs> bend. <but> the... <laughs> it's probably a brake hose. One of the hoses that they run to the right front or right rear to cool the brake. in seven spot looking for his first victory on a road course and yes that could affect his car and and uh, get the brakes hotter than they normally would jerry punch what's bragging on the three car andy petrie just told me that they saw it when they pitted a minute ago said it was a piece of tape or a piece of plastic hose that they picked up on the racetrack. He said, you know, Dale's bad about doing stuff like I took it up trash around the racetrack, but he said they saw it when they pitted the car. It was hanging up there. They were they're running out so fast they didn't have time to pull it off. So he found the hose. It's not his own hose. He found one out there. Seventeen laps to go. Morgan Shepard is slow. Yes, he is. Very slow. Fourth place car. Very, very slow up in turn 10. He might be out of gas, Benny. There's our leader, Daryl Walter, who finished second here at the Glen back in 1986, the first race. They return to this race course. Now he's lost a cylinder or something, Ned. He rode by Pitt Road at a reduced rate of speed. So, John Kernan, is that right? Well, I haven't had a chance to check with Leonard Wood or Eddie Wood yet, but as Morgan came by, you could tell, Benny, he wasn't running on eight cylinders. It sounded like he was running on about six or seven. But Dale Walter, the leader, should be pitting momentarily. We expect him on pit road uh, as soon as he gets back around this way. Morgan Shepard. Slowing down here at Watkins Glen. We'll be right back.
ESPN Speed World coverage is being brought to you by AC Delco Automotive Parts. AC Delco, it's like buying time. And by Quaker State, the intelligent oil for longer engine life. And our friends at Raybestos Brakes are providing ESPN with helicopter shots of today's race action high above Watkins Glen International. Raybestos Brakes, the best in brakes. That encompasses just about all of the racetrack. And here is the leader, Mark Martin. Between him and second place, Ernie Irvin, is Brett Bodine, who is in 20 of the lap down. So you can see after the pit stops that looks like Mark Martin has picked up a couple of seconds on Ernie Irvin. Our third Back place in. car is Rusty Wallace. Uh, where is he? Rusty, where are you? Where's he's a body? long way back. Yeah, there he is. Looks like he's six, seven seconds back behind Ernie Irvin. Rusty's in third spot. Several lap cars come around, and there's Wally Dallenbach, who is fourth. He's almost a, the front straightaway behind Rusty Wallace. There's Dale Earnhardt. About uh, 100 yards behind Dallenbach. A fifth place car. Next will be Ken Schrader in 25. He's sixth. Right behind him is Terry Labonte, who is in seventh. Schrader was on the outside pole here for the butt at the Glen. There comes Labonte. 17 car was next. Darrell Walter. And then Todd Bodine in car 75 runs ninth. comes Michael Waltrip and Ted Musgrave. Both of those cars are a lap down. Next in the scoring would be the Tide Machine of Rudd. And right behind him is Joe Nemechek. There he is. Good job for Joe today. Yes, it is. Meineke Discount Mufflers Machine. And then Jeff Gordon, who isn't having nearly as good a day at Watkins Glen as he did at Indianapolis a week ago yesterday. Not nearly, and there's the 18 car. That's the next car in our lineup. And he's having a better day than he did at Indianapolis last Saturday when he crashed in the Jeff Bo 9 incident. There's Morgan Shepard. And John Kernan has a report. Well, Bob, I just checked with Leonard Wood, the crew chief. He tells me that the car is hung in fourth gear. Now, I told you as it went by, it sounded like it wasn't running on all eight cylinders. Well, there's a reason for that is he's not accelerating out of the turn, so the RPMs aren't up. So I'm trying to match the sound with the other cars. That's why it sounds so much differently. But he's hung in high gear right now. There is Bill Elliott, who is on the lead lap in 15th position. Gant is next in 16. And Bob Harry Gant's the one that lost out on those green flag pit stops. He was running in front of Dale Jarrett and Jeff Gordon and, and uh, Bill Elliott, and so now he's lost quite a bit of time on that green flag pit stop. You, you remember that John Kern reported that he ran over his air hose and they had to back the park and get it off the air hose, and that's one reason that his, slow, his stop was so slow. And the final car on the lead lap as we watch this group of cars go through the inner loop would be the 15 machine of Lake Speed. And I tell you what, he's about to be yes. lapped. We see Mark Martin right behind him. Yep. That's Steve Grissom between Lake Speed and Mark Martin. We'll take another break and be back with more live coverage from Watkins Glen.